Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's explore the new locations feature and maps in iPhoto 09. So one of the cool new things in iPhoto 09 is the ability to label every picture with a location. Now if your camera has a GPS chip in it, like the iPhone, you'll automatically get that data stored with your photo and it will appear in iPhoto. But a lot of us have cameras, really good cameras, that just don't have GPS locators in them. So you're going to have to assign the locations yourself. Here's how to do it. Okay, so here's oh, iPhoto 09 and I've got a bunch of different events. Let's first take a look at a photo that does know its own location. If I click in this event here, I've got this picture which I took on my iPhone. And in this picture here, if I click on Info for it or Command I with it selected, I instantly get a map here. It tells me it was taken in Denver, which is correct. And I can go ahead and confirm that or narrow it down if it's too general. Um, I can see the point on the map here. I can switch to satellite view or hybrid view. So I've got uh, a lot of really good information here that's just taken right from my iPhone. Okay, but what happens if there is no location information? I take it with a really good camera, but there's no GPS in it. So I go to, say, this event here, and I click on this photo and get information about it. It says inner photo location, and the map just shows a map of the world. Now. I click in here and instantly it highlights the entire thing and I start typing and it narrows it down to different areas and soon I get to the one where it actually was taken. So it's pretty quick to actually enter that in. And then it actually goes ahead and puts the pinpoint on the map. It's got the location there. I can go ahead and enter description and title information now as well. But what happens if something isn't in the database? Say it's just a location that just happened to be there, a small town, or maybe it's for a specific location where I take a lot of pictures and I want to have those all specifically labeled, not generally labeled like Denver, Colorado. I'm going to go and say, say this photo is taken at the Cherry Creek Mall. And I'm going to go ahead and when I click there I can see that there's a new place button at the bottom. And I can go in here and basically uh, do a Google search for that place. We'll see what it comes up with. And sure enough, it locates this. Now, this is Google Maps, so you can locate addresses, parks, uh, airports, all sorts of specific things. And so I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, Cherry Creek Shopping Center, and I'm going to assign that to this photo. And there it goes. Now I've got that very specific item there in the database. I can hit Done. And now, if I wanted to assign another picture with the same thing, it would remember that that is in my database. Right there, Cherry Creek Shopping Center. It even knows to use that ahead of other names that are similar because it's something that's specific to me. Now you can also go ahead and label entire events with the location. So you can select this event here, click I, and then you can enter the location for the entire event. Now each picture will have a location. So it's very useful to arrange your events by location because then you can quickly assign the location for all those photos and having to go and do each individual one. Because it really isn't a very good way to do that. Uh, you can go into a group of photos, you can select three, you can get information on them, and you can use these arrows at the bottom to move back and forth, but you have to change the location for each one of them. Now once you've gone ahead and labeled all your photos with your locations, then the real power comes from clicking the Faces button on the left side of the iPhoto window. and You get a map of the world showing where all your photos are taken. Go ahead and click on an area and it will zoom in and show you smaller pins in areas nearby. Keep clicking in and you can see an even smaller area like that. And You can go ahead at any time you want and click on the arrow button there and see the photos from that location. You can also go ahead and use your locations in the search box at the bottom of the iPhoto window. So you can type in Denver there and it will narrow it down to the photos in Denver. So that's a quick look at the locations of maps feature in iPhoto. It's very useful and very worthwhile labeling all your photos even if your camera doesn't have GPS. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.